What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm still in Washington DC. I'm working on an MRI project and I ended up needing some tools. So I got an Uber ride over to the local Home Depot. And of course I'm, I'm becoming quite the Milwaukee fan because I love some of their packaging. And uh, because I, I love some of the form factors of their, their new tool lines. And I have to admit, they had some products that are gonna solve some of the problems I had. So let's go ahead and take a look at my new tools right now. Okay guys, first off, let's see. I'm gonna lay this guy off to the side. This came as a pack with a set of insulated screwdrivers. Now, uh, I had a titanium screwdriver today, and that's because it is capable of being used in an MRI room, and that little bastard just destroyed itself. Um, it's It was a odd material. However, I do have these guys right here, and I do have some fasteners that I, I still need to, to fix, and that is above ceiling, and um, these guys are gonna work a real treat. So these are 1,000 volt high voltage insulated screwdrivers, and you got a number one Phillips, you got a number three Phillips, and, or you got a number one, number two, then you have a eighth of an inch, I believe, right? 1-23. It's a regular large flat blade. And then I got the extra large flat blade. That's for some of those electrical terminals, but also these guys right here work really good as pry bars. I know some people are gonna be like, oh no, don't you do that. Well, uh, these large flat blades are used on electrical terminals, but at the same time, they're, they're really nice. Like for me, I'm gonna have to beat out some wallboard so I can actually use this guy here to kind of etch and break up some of that wallboard. It's gonna work a real treat, you see that? Anyway, I love the rubberized grips. They have a lanyard hole right here, which is gonna be very important. And a uh, long insulated neck, and it's tapered. So really good. They feel really nice in the hand too. So those uh, rubber over molding, those are gonna be super nice. So these are gonna be in my roll around full-time tool bag but I got them because they're gonna help me out with this project. And they come with this fold out tool organizer, which I'm probably never going to use, but that is not what I'm excited about the most. Guys, I also got this guy right here. Now I did a video on my night buddy and this guy here uses three AAA batteries. So I'm going above ceiling and I'm working on some stuff. And the night buddy has got a band that has got LEDs all around it and this guy here uses three AAA batteries, which is nice because it's easy to change batteries in the field. However, I can't still take this in an MRI room, or if I did, um, I still have metallic cell batteries, whereas the Night Buddy, it's got a lithium ion battery pack inside, and it's much less likely to be attracted to a magnet than this guy. However, this guy is extremely durable, and notice, it's extremely bright. So there's bright, medium, and low and then off, but extremely bright. I like the band. I like its ease of adjustability and uh, it's got a nice padded area right here and it comes with hard hat clips, which I will probably never use. I really wish I had that guy today. This is where it's at guys. This guy right here is an all-in-one hole saw kit. I absolutely love this kit. I love this kit, guys. I, I, I can't even tell you how much I love this kit. Uh, so it's got bimetallic hole saws and there's an entire selection of them. And it's got this really neat little trough right here that has got extra drill bits. So right here is your master, right? And it just kind of fits in there and you've got some spare uh, secondary drill bits. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six hole saws very cool and there's like a plastic base down in there I like how they're nice and organized and they can fit easily in one of my tool totes except this guy popped off oh, there we go nice and easy 
it folds up and to top it off they have this really cool little handle on it which I might not ever really use but holy cow guys look at that this guy is gonna fit so nicely in my Milwaukee pack outs there's so many times where I could have used a hole saw today was one of those days <laughs> so tomorrow I'm gonna use this because I have to cut through desks and stuff to run cords this guy could have saved me some time today so here I am I'm it also is gonna cut through some wallboard leave a nice neat circle what a cool kit I believe this guy is like $39 but for what six seven uh, hole saws plus extra blades I mean $39 for a hole saw kit that is a win this guy right here was like uh, 15 or 16 dollars I think and the screwdrivers I believe were like 20 dollars not too bad and then to top it all off a husky tool bag these guys here were nine dollars simple tool bag but it's the simple tool bags that I need more of because I keep tool bags for certain grab-and-go kits like a grab-and-go kit for MRI I'm gonna have a tool bag which this one here has a metallic strip I can feel it in here um, this is not gonna be my MRI bag but it's gonna suit its purpose for tomorrow at least to get my tools into the hospital it just can't go into the MR room with me because I can feel that it's got a steel brace around the top but for nine dollars I can have a tool bag for a grab-and-go kit maybe for another technician or something it's a very durable little bag it's the heavy denier um, nylon the straps are nice and good the zipper is actually pretty good on it I took a look at all that can't go wrong nine dollars so I'm mostly enthused about the Milwaukee hole saw kit that is such a win this guy here is definitely going to pack up into one of my bags maybe a bag like this and it's since it's got extra triple A's all I got to do is keep some extra triple A batteries like inside the kit and these guys here are going to be in my permanent roll around tool bag because I do work around electronics all the time I really need insulated screwdrivers what a win Anyway, guys, just letting you know, um, I'm still in, in uh, Washington, D.C. It's been an adventure today. Tomorrow's going to be another long day. However, um, there's some wins. New tools. New tools are always a win. Even if I had the most rotten day, if I get some new tools out of the gig, it's going to be a good day. So, anyway, stop by your local Home Depot. Check out some of the new offerings from Milwaukee. Man, they're so impressive. Right now they got winterized cut resistant gloves, level one cut resistance and level three cut resistance. You should keep a set of gloves like that in your vehicle. So if you're ever changing a flat tire or something, not only will your hands stay warm, but they're cut resistant, which means you're not, if you reach down in there, you're not gonna get your hands cut up, which is super important. I love that. The fact that we have cut resistant gloves now mainstream at your local Home Depot. It's so awesome. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Just giving you an update on my tools and uh, the fact that tomorrow I'm going to be back at the MRI rooms and doing what I do. Thanks for watching, guys.